welcome back to microbial concepts so we are already studying about milk microbiology or dairy microbiology and this is fourth part of uh, this topic in which we are going to discuss about microflora which is observed in raw milk okay all the bacteria or yeast that are generally observed in raw milk okay so before starting just a reminder to subscribe my channel like my videos and share these videos with your friend okay so let's start so raw milk is uh, generally never germ free okay it is never a case that raw milk is sterile because it has certain microflora primarily coming from milk secreting tissue other sources of um, microflora are like exterior of animal body especially uda area means uh, where the mammary glands are present and a person um, does milk collection job okay so touching that surface touching the um, animal body or even the utensils which are used for milk collection then the person who is involved in the collection of milk um, proper personal hygiene of that person also matters then the environment of stables or stalls where animals are housed then types of microbes which are found in milk raw milk can be divided in four types on basis of predominant metabolic activities of microbes okay so the classification is based on their metabolic activities like acid is produced by some microbes so they are grouped as acid producers gas is produced by some microbes so they are grouped as gas producers then microbes which um, produce proteolytic enzymes like proteases they are grouped as proteolytic microbes and lipolytic microbes which secrete lipases okay so we are going to study about these four types and their examples okay so if you get a question on microflora of raw milk just mention everything or mention all these points which are uh, which i am going to discuss in this video okay and one more question you may get is that um, you may get right in short about acid producers which are found in milk or right in short about proteolytic microbes which are found in milk okay so in that case you can just write this part as introduction and then you can move towards the particular type of microbe which is asked in your question okay so let's start with acid producers so they can enter from dairy equipment animal feed polluted water soil and certain material of plant origin why plant origin because the feed which we uh, give or the fodder which we give to animals that can be also source for entry of these bacteria so these bacteria can ferment certain milk components and they produce organic acids as predominant end product okay so organic acids they are producing as their end product so they are grouped as acid producers so examples are streptococcus lactis then streptococcus cremoris lactobacillus uh, kz lactobacillus bulgaricus then lactobacillus plantarum e coli enterobacter micrococcus lutis okay so this was quick and short about acid producers the next is about gas producers so they can enter from animal feed water and soil these microbes ferment lactose the major carbohydrate which is present in milk they ferment the, that particular sugar that is lactose and they produce a mixture of organic acids first and then formic acid which is present in the mixture is further broken down into co2 and hydrogen okay so what kind of gases are produced co2 that is carbon dioxide and hydrogen is produced by the breaking down of formic acid okay so examples are clostridium butyricum all coliforms and yeast like torula cremoris okay then third type is proteolytic microbes which produce proteases so they can enter from utensils soil and water these microbes they produce proteolytic enzymes which are known as proteases so they are hydrolyzing milk proteins particularly casein so examples are bacillus subtilis then bacillus cereus pseudomonas proteases uh, sorry proteus and streptococcus 
liquefactions and last is lipolytic microorganisms so they can enter through utensils water and soil these microbes they produce lipases with the help of which they hydrolyze milk fats producing fatty acids okay so the end product here is fatty acids examples are pseudomonas pleurisans acromobacter then candida lipolytica and penicillium okay so you can see when fungus yeast and bacteria all three types of these microbes they are generally found in raw milk and that is why after milk collection the pasteurization is very important step in dairy industry before processing milk further before giving it a flavor or before um, proceeding for a particular by product or product from which is make made from milk okay so to remove all these um, bacteria or fungi or yeast some processes are followed and those processes are what we are going to study in next video okay so like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and do share this videos with your friends and don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook by same handle that is microbial concept okay thank you